Today, I'm going to show you why you don't need to use a shotgun in Fortnite Chapter 3. And honestly, with how weak the shotguns are, it's almost a disadvantage trying to put them in your playstyle and make them work. The new SMG, the Stinger, is extremely strong. It even has a higher DPS than the Rapid Fire. I'll explain how it's a little bit different, though. And the new Assault Rifle, the MK7, is the strongest Assault Rifle we've ever seen in the game. And especially its Mythic variant, which has insane damage and very minimal recoil. I'm landing at the guaranteed llama right now. This llama spawns here every game. I included this in yesterday's like tip video. If you don't know about it, go watch that for sure. So I like landing here. This is an educational commentary, by the way. So sit tight. I got some tips and tricks coming right up. I'm going to go ahead and pop this. And I'm not going to use an SMG or I'm not going to use a shotgun in this video. Either, whichever one I'm not using. I'm just going to use SMGs. And that's really all I need to use. I got to reload this. Let's first thing talk about the SMGs and why they're so powerful. The DPS, which means damage per second of the SMG, is extremely high. I'm pretty sure the gold version is like over 260 DPS, which is higher than the gold rapid fire. Now, I still prefer the rapid fire because even though this one does more damage, it has slightly less fire rate. And what that means is that the rapid fire is better for putting pressure on opponents. But... The reality is that this one has more damage, slower reload time, much slower than the rapid fire. If we're looking at the actual stats, reload time 2.6 seconds versus the rapid fire is 1.4 seconds. But because it has higher damage, it's going to compensate by putting down opponents a little bit quicker, especially if you're actually shooting them and not just shooting their walls. This thing also has 30 bullets. You can shoot a little bit longer before you have to reload. Now, the MK7, right, in all versions, even the gray version, is super strong. The red dot, it's got the recoil, no bloom. Where Wherever the red dot is is where the bullet's going to go. There is no bloom on that gun, so it's a first of its kind. The Ranger Assault Rifle is outclassed completely. But honestly, you could throw in any AR into the game. The MK will be better than any Assault Rifle. It's pretty much like a combat Assault Rifle, but if it didn't have a poor accuracy and insane like recoil. Because the combat had recoil and bloom, while the MK has no bloom just recoil it's very accurate it's very fast now let's talk about these shotguns real quick okay people are asking you want to run the auto shoddy or the striker pump i've played with both for a bit and if i had to choose one over the other i'm choosing the striker pump the, the new pump the crappy pump i'll tell you why it's because of the pullout time the uh oh wait we just the smg by the way is extremely accurate from range. Unlike other SMGs, this one actually has insanely good long range accuracy. It does not have a lot of bloom. Like, look, look, even from this range right here, we're getting solid tags and, and pretty decent damage. Not a lot of damage drop off. Let's grab this purple stinger. So the reason why I prefer the striker pump is because of the pullout time. I don't have the hard, hard numbers for you, but the pullout time of the striker is way quicker than the auto tactical. So trying to swap to and from the auto tactical is very clunky. Okay, you try to use the shotgun as if that was going to do anything. So yeah, the pull-out time of the auto pump, the, the tack looking pump, it's very slow and it's going to make your combat feel really, really lackluster, especially if you're swapping between SMG and building and your pickaxe. That extra delay is really going to add up. The striker, it hits really weak and it's extremely slow. It's for some reason slower than the pump. I didn't think that a shotgun could be slower than the pump. I always thought that the pump had to be the slowest shotgun because it was like the one hit, you know, shoddy that could do 200 damage. So obviously it's going to be really slow, but the strike pump is actually slower for some reason. And for that reason, like this combo of the SMGs having insane damage and the pumps being weak and the attacks being slow and weak, we're... We're going to have to just run SMGs and ARs. And then this AR, right? We talk about the SMG, but this AR is unbelievably good. This thing can be used as an SMG because of its increased fire rate. Something to keep in mind is the only other assault rifle that had a higher fire rate than a 5.5 or whatever was the, uh, the combat 
assault rifle. So if it has a higher fire rate than nine or seven, I mean, it can damage through turbo build. So if someone's holding their wall and you're spraying their wall, you can slip a bullet every time their wall breaks. The normal MK has a nine fire rate. The mythic version has a 10 fire rate. As long as it's over seven, you can use that and it's accurate even when you're hip firing with it. And because of its increased fire rate, it can feel like a good SMG substitute. But because of how good the SMG is this season, you don't really want to substitute the SMG. This purple striker, or this purple stinger, pull in 250 DPS, which is absolutely ridiculous. And even from range, this thing is solid. As long as you can control the recoil, you're frying people and you're damaging them through their builds. This is like unreal. You guys trying to sign me? I got, I think they hired an NPC to help them. I'm sorry, Jonesy. I got to take you out, man. Agent Jones. Look at that. Look at that SMG. I'm going to reload because the other guy decided to pull up. Holy stop. Holy stop, bro. You just reload and start shooting again. Oh my God. He just got sniped. That's perfect actually because I'm about to go end this guy. What's up, buddy? So this this striker pump not 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 even worth spending your time on. You're probably gonna hit for not too hard. I mean this this guy wants to get in. We we can go for it. He hit me for 35 damage with his striker pump. 35. I'm willing to to take that damage because this thing has a DPS of over 250. It's gonna put you down in less than a second. Not one second. Less than a second. And when the shotguns are not punishing and doing damage, that's when the SMG really shines. Now you can throw in a sniper if you want to. Get some extra bonus damage, but even these snipers are not that scary because they can't one shot you if you're full health. This guy's going to attempt to fly at me right now, but like he still did not heal up. So when they're behind a wall, it's not as easy to just spray them to death. It's really not as easy. And the reload time is a little bit longer, so they have a little bit more time to react. But it's still enough pressure. Now we have a gold MK7. The actual recoil gets reduced with higher rarity. That's why the mythic one is so busted because there's almost no recoil on it. But look, I already have nine kills and at no point did I feel like I was forcing not to use the shotgun. Like at no point did I feel like, oh, I could have used a shotgun here. And some people run double, you can run double SMG with the AR. You can run SMG, sniper, assault rifle. And when I say assault rifle, I'm only talking about the MK7. The Ranger assault rifle, in my opinion, is like a reskinned AK. It does decent damage when it hits hits but too slow and not accurate enough when you're going against someone with the mk who's like you know hitting you while like like here's the thing you could be sliding with the mk and still have really good perfect accuracy and just beam somebody you cannot do that with the ranger or with anything else for that matter i would not be surprised if they eventually nerfed the mk or maybe buffed the other assault rifle but we'll see i would like to see some buffs to the shotguns because i just feel like it's a it's a little awkward constantly spraying like this but i'm showing you guys this because some of you might be trying to play with the shotguns a little bit too much or trying to rely on the shotguns like it's previous chapter but like i'm telling you right now that it's costing you a lot i got i had a lot of unfortunate deaths just earlier today trying to utilize the shotties and trying to make them work and and honestly i my gameplay has improved and my fights have gone a lot better once i realized that dude just pull out the same Stinger. Sure, you can you can hit a hard hitting shot with the striker pump and then from there pull out the st stinger and follow up. And you might end up dying to somebody who hits a really hard hitting shot. So you don't want to completely ignore the shoddy. Definitely don't respect it because it does not need to be respected. And, th and th I mean, this this feels to me like the uh, rapid fire. It's just like a different version. Excuse me, I gotta reload. Like I said, I don't respect the pump. I literally just re reloaded my uh, AR right in front of this guy. He hit me for like 70, but if he had a no, if he had like a spaz, that could have been very brutal. I had to reload both my guns, but... He's actually trying to shoot me out right now. He, he thinks I'm still in the armored walls. Look at that.
just it's gonna it's gonna bleed there we go i was only a little awkward because i didn't want to get sniped by the other guy so i had to position myself in a way where it's not as bad but now i have a gold one and a purple one this way i don't have to reload as much and it's, it's definitely more viable i never used to run double rapid fire smg and i'll tell you why because the reload time is 1.4 seconds extremely fast reload time on the rapid fire right swapping to another rapid fire is just as fast like basically just reloading it so it was always better to just straight up just reload and shoot again but with the striker or the stinger i mean it's not oh, look, look at that bleed damage we're getting on this guy even if he takes my wall and edits it open like what's he gonna do Yeah, having two of them right there came in clutch. Not having to stop to reload. Kept the pressure on, and this guy could not handle it. And, and these kills have been so easy. And when I was using the shotgun, I was struggling a lot against a lot of these guys, and I was even losing against a lot of these guys. I had people in the chat saying, like, they're just better, or, you know, the usual stuff. But in reality, like, when you play to the strength of the meta, like, you can do some... You, you, will, you will still destroy these guys. It's just the spray meta, you just have to really embrace it. You can't mess around and try to force something that's not working. I got one more player left. If you're near these big trees, you definitely want to break them. Because if they sh if someone breaks them in your direction and they fall on you, they could hit you for 100. Maybe even knock you to your death. It's pizza time. Like I said, even the SMG is very accurate. And the AR still gives you bleed. So, like, there's not much this guy can do, to be honest with you. Now he's dead. Thank you guys for watching. And I mean, if this video doesn't prove it to you, you don't need a shotgun. If anything, you're better off not using one. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content about chapter three coming your way.